start by removing this hubcap and then the wheel. If you don't have steel wheels with the hubcaps, then you don't have to worry about this. But for me, 19 millimeter socket, remove these plastic caps that hold the hubcap on. Take this off and set it aside. Continuing with the 19 millimeter socket, take off all five of your lug nuts and then remove the wheel. Okay, this wheel's stuck, so let's put on a lug nut and then hit the tire from the back side. With a rubber mallet, hit the tire, not the rim. You don't want to damage the rim. There we go. Take the uh, lug nut off and remove the wheel. I put a pole jack here. If you're on the ground, you can use a jack stand or a floor jack just to support the axle beam when I unbolt the shock so it doesn't want to drop down too much. Next, with an 18 millimeter, I'm going to remove this top bolt. So jack up your support, remove the bolt. With a 21 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove this bottom bolt now. There's a washer behind it, so make sure you take that off and save it with the bolt. And now you can remove your shock, wiggle it, it's kind of stuck up here. There we go. Here's your old shock absorber. With your new shock, before you install it, you actually want to compress it manually four, five times. This is called starting it or priming it. What this does is it'll mix the gases and the oils inside. If you don't do this, you might have some clunking over bumps when you first start driving um, because the, like I said, gases or oils are not mixed. There's pockets of air. And instead of this doing its job, it's kind of just free floating a little bit. So this is why you want to do this. I'm gonna do it one more time and then call it good. As you do it, you'll notice it might get a little bit stiffer every time you try to press it down and that's normal, that's what you want. All right, now let's get this into the vehicle. Take your new shock, slide it in. I'm gonna start with the top, put that bolt through, line it up and start it in. Then we'll go down here. Then we'll go down here on the bottom. Start this one in. Let's snug them up and then torque it. Snug them up and then torque them to 92 on this one and 66 on the top. All right, now let's do the bottom. Perfect. Let's get the wheel back on. Start on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, torque them to 100 foot pounds. Get the hubcap on. When you put on this hubcap, make sure that this little slot lines up with your valve stem. If it doesn't, it's just gonna get crushed when you put the hubcap back on. And use your 19 millimeter and just screw these little plastic caps on. This is what secures this onto the wheel. So if you don't, if you don't tighten these up, um, well, it could fly off on you. So make sure these are nice and snug, but don't use your air gun or electric gun on this because you'll strip them out. Just do these by hand. All right, take it for a road test.